this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So in the last two videos, we have seen that how to read a PDF and how to launch the PDF with the help of uh, Selenium in the new tab in the browser of uh, browser window. And then we have to get the content of that and then we can validate that as well with the help of PDF, a box API that we have to use. So if you haven't watched uh, these two videos, please watch it, especially the second video. And that will make your life super easy to validate the PDF. Now, a couple of people were asking about that. Can we automate the images? Like, can we get to know that how many images are there? And can we compare the, the PDF images with the expected images? Yes, that also we can do that with the PDF box. We have some PD object. You can see some imports are there in the class. The PDX object or some resources, we can use it. And uh, so it's not important for interview point of view, but it's something important for your project point of view for sure because nobody is asking you uh, give me the exact code for the reading the pdf and all such things so don't prepare this thing for the interview but important for your project point of view so what i have done i have created one simple utility like let's see pdf reader utility and i have created three four methods over here so the first method this will help you to get total number of images uh, from the pdf and it's returning the list of rendered images. So when you call this method, we just need to supply the PD document here. Second thing that I have created, uh, all the images, let's say you really want to extract all the images, store it as a PNG file in your, in your system, in your C drive or D drive somewhere, that also we can do that. And then finally, we have this uh, compare two images. So if you really want to compare two images, that also we can uh, do that. So we will supply image number one, image number two, and it will tell you that these images are uh, uh, correct or not and it will tell you the percentage also the difference percentage also it will tell you between two images so pretty simple i'll share this uh, code in the repository in the get you can just have a look and then start using these pdf utilities so let's create one test class over here and let's start using it so i'm going to write let's see this is my pdf image uh, test class Okay, let's see PDF images test class that I'm going to use. Click on finish. And uh, here, what I'll do, I'll just try to capture a couple of uh, before method thing. So, or I can directly start using, let's see, this is a string URL. I'm not going to use a Selenium URL that we have already seen earlier. The same thing will work with the Selenium also. If you're really opening the a PDF in the browser, rest of the things will remain same. And then I'll do one thing. This is the thing that we have already used. So I'm just going to load and get my PD document. This is important. So let's see this one. And I'm going to write everything under at the rate our test annotation method. So let's see public void. Let's see PDF image test. Okay. And then I'll just put this entire code, cut it, and then paste it over here. Import at the rate test from testng. And then if you have any other import, just try to import java.io package from the input stream, net URL, and these are the things. And then it will start throwing some exceptions. So just add throws a declared exception. Open connection also will throw some exception that is IO exception and that's it. Okay. So let's see, this is the URL. Now this URL could be a browser URL or it could be a file URL. So let's see, I have one file devops.pdf file that I'll show you, it's available on my desktop, devops.pdf. So here in this particular PDF, you can see one image is there, right? And three pages are there and only one image is available. And I really want to capture all the uh, images and I really want to know how many images are there. So same thing, create the object of URL, make the connection with the PDF URL.open connection. And then this is the user agent that we have to pass and create the buffer input stream. And finally, you have to get the PD document here. You have to load the uh, PDF file in the form of a buffered input stream. And then you got your PD document here. Then we will start using this PDF reader.java. So what I'm exactly I'm going to do that. These methods, you can make it a static also if you really want to make it so that you can just directly call with the help of uh, PDF reader class and if you don't want to use the static you can remove it also you can just Create the object of PDF reader and then start using it. So I'll do one thing I'm just going to create the object of PDF reader here. So let's create PDF reader and let's see reader is equal to new PDF reader It's a <coughs> Okay, zero 
uh, parameterized constructor so simply create the object and i'm going to write reader dot which method that you really want to use so let's see i want to use first method get images from pdf okay so let's uh, use this particular method get images for pdf and it's saying give me the pd document the pd document that you have already captured here after loading and it's saying that it will give you a list of all the rendered images and then i can simply apply dot size here okay and then you can store inside the one variable let's see image count is equal to this <clears throat> and then just simple print that total number of images so total images are equal to plus whatever the image count that you are getting you just try to print it so from this particular pdf how many images are there only one image is there let's see is it really working or not okay so yes it's very fast total number of images are equal to one only one image is available perfect what you can do we can create another utility here that uh, see this i'm going to create that is public avoid get pdf uh, images count okay and this method what exactly this method will do this method says you give me the pd document okay so you take the pd document and then we will just call this method internally here okay and pass the same document and then this method will return list of rendered images and then you apply dot size here so you can just create another utility and then you simply return and instead of void i'm going to write int that's it okay so what you just need to do you just need to <coughs> uh, call this particular method and that's it okay so this method says that add throws declaration okay fine okay so you can just call this method pdf reader class object dot this one so or you can just create the object and then first call this and then dot size that also you can use it so i'll do one thing i'll just uh, comment it out uh, this line i'll just remove this and i'll get the count method directly okay and then this is the pd document and once you get the count store it in the image count and then you can write your assertions and everything like this perfect so let's run it again because otherwise every time people has to you know call that method and do dot and then use dot size so it's giving you the count is equal to one so dot size i have already applied here perfect so this is also you can do that now i really want to extract all the images all before that let's try one more thing let's see let's take a uh, one more complex pdf or uh, some large pdf where we have number of more images are available for example you can see in this particular pdf see this there are some images some logo also available and this is also an image and i just do one thing it's already available on my desktop and uh, i'll change the name so the name of this pdf is this okay so let's copy this and i just change the pdf name here let's see how many images count it's coming it's showing here so it's saying total number of images are equal to five in this particular pdf and you can cross check that is it really having total number of five images are there so one then maybe two then logo is also image three okay then four and then this is a fifth image is available perfect so that also we can it's absolutely working fine you can really you really want to try a, some very large image that also we can take it see this one this johnson.pdf it's a huge pdf and there are so many images are available okay more than 100 images are available it's a very big pdf so that also we can do that okay let's try with that is it really working for the for some really long pdf or large pdfs let's run it again run as a test ng and uh, Within few seconds, you will get the result. Although it's taking some time, it's giving you 148 images are available. Nice. So it's absolutely working fine here. Okay. Now again, back to the normal image. So let's see again, devops.pdf. I want to capture all the images from the PDF. So for that, we have this method available that uh, PDF box extract images. What if the method name that you want to give? Same thing. It say you give me the document and uh, I'll store this is my file directory. I mean the project directory and on the basis of nano time, whatever the current nano time is going on and then append with the dot PNG. It means it will extract all the PDF images with dot PNG extension and it will start storing under your project. 
or whatever the folder path that you want to give you can give that so i'll do one thing i'll just create a separate a folder here and my folder name is let's see pdf images folder okay and then you click on finish so i want to store all the images under this particular pdf images and uh, i'll say that okay hey go to the project directory dot forward slash means go to this project directory under that we have one folder pdf images and then append with and uh, i'll say one more forward slash append with current time in milliseconds and then dot png or nano time okay so let's see is it really working or not so i'll do one thing i'll just copy this and then i'll call once again reader dot this method this method is also saying you give me the pd document so this is the pd document that i'm passing here and this is giving you add throws a declaration so that's fine okay so let's see is it really working or not so from the devops.pdf file only one image it should extract okay so so far it's fine what you do you right click on your project and refresh it and see this under pdf images we have this particular .png file is available exact same .png file okay you can open it directly from the you can go to this particular directory you can open that from there also or you can open in your eclipse also you can see the image is available here nice let's try with some other pdfs so i'll try once again with this particular pdf that is this one because there are five images are there so let's see how many images it is extracting from there let me do one thing let me delete this pdf uh, this uh, image okay let's try it again so simple right click run as testng okay though no, that's why it's fast so total image is equal to five let's um, refresh the project once again we have to refresh it then the pdf images are there so you can see one two three four five so let's try with this image also i mean this pdf also because there are so many images are available you can see that let's see is it really extracting all the images or not so i'll try with because i don't want to try with a small pdf image i mean small pdf i really want to try with some more and more images are coming or not because you never know in real time projects let me just delete that in real time projects you might have a very large pdf which around let's say around 50 60 pages like this okay so let's run it again so obviously there are <coughs> around 148 images are there so it will take some time to extract so let's see see it's the program is still running nice within few seconds it's done and uh, right click and then you simply refresh nice see so many images are there all 148 images it is actually capturing although this uh, logo and all such things are there so you see google trends image iphone image clinton so after extracting i really want to let's see validate two images how to validate that so for that let's see <clears throat> i have two images already available here this is the image number one this is the actual sdfc logo and uh, this is the let's see uh, some image is there so let's see this image is coming from the actual pdf and i really want to validate with this particular image right so there are two uh, images dot png files are available right so first let's see the extraction work is done i have image is already available with me one is expected image and another one is the actual image so let's see this image is the actual image or i would say expected image not actual so i'll just change the name instead of actual image i'll say uh, expected image sdfc logo and then this is my actual image which is coming from the pdf for example and we have stored here so what do you just need to do you just simple call this particular method in this image comparison method say you have to give me two file objects not the direct images you have to give me the images within the file so how will you do this so i'll do one thing i'm going to create one file let's see file a which is equal to new file okay so before running this i'll do one thing let me just comment it out this entire code because right now we are not bothered about this johnson.pdf and uh, comment it out this one also okay along with this because i don't want to extract any images you just need to create the object of pdf reader and reader dot image comparison that we have to do so let's uh, run it and let's see is it really working or not oops uh, it's giving you some error 
Oh, it's saying can't read the input file. Oh, okay. So I think uh, this is the PDF reader is the project name, right? You can see the main folder project name here. Let me remove this and you simply write dot under this project. This PNG file is there. So we don't need to write PDF reader. Actually, you simply write a dot one forward slash and then your PNG file. So you just need to give the right path actually. So let's run it again. Let's see. Now this time it's absolutely working and it's saying that uh, the difference percentage between two images is around 18.05%. Around 18% 18 differences are there. Perfect. So you can see, yes, exactly. It's visible that, okay, yeah, these two images are not the actual images. There is a, some difference. So if you are expecting that, okay, the image difference should always be less than 10% or less than 20%, then it's fine. If it is more than 10%, then it's a bug. It means these are two different images are available. So like this, it's up to you. You can uh, define some percentage criteria for the comparison or it's a actual uh, uh, difference should be 0% only. It means both the images should be exactly equal. Then only it should work fine. That also we can define that. So let's try that experiment as well. I'll do one thing. I'll just uh, see this particular image. And then this actual image that we are using, this expected image, and this is your actual image that we are getting. I'll do one thing, right click on it and let's copy. And then once again, you paste it over here. Okay, and then you paste it with the, let's say I'm writing a new hdfc.png. Okay, new hdfc.png and click on okay. So now I have two images. Okay, and I really want to compare like this new sdfc.png file. Okay, this one is also in the black color, and then I'm comparing with the actual image. So, this is also in the back color. It means both the images are exactly same, and I really want to see that what is the difference between these two images. So, let's quickly run it. This time, it should give you the difference percentage is equal to zero. That's so nice. It means this method is absolutely working fine because both the images are exactly the same. So with this thing, you can just download, extract all the images and whatever the image that you really want to compare, you can just start comparing it. Okay, so that's all for this particular video. I hope it's clear. I'll just do one thing. I'll just upload this entire code in my Git repository. You will see the Git repository URL in the comment section or in the description of the video also and then start using this particular code. Thank you so much guys. I'll see you in the next video. Till then take care and God bless you all.